Uh, uh, it, it started off in Scotland and we were able to tell that amazing story of the uh, export of Scottish whisky, which is well, you know, a huge success story in the British economy because of the weak pound, which you know, in its way told the story of what was happening to the pound. It uh, went over to China. Uh, we'd, our latest stuff we've just done is in Shanghai with our correspondent, uh, Quentin Sumville in Shanghai. Uh, and I suppose what just to sort of skip, skip on a, a couple of steps, what's been so exciting about this is it's just taken on a whole life of its own I had not expected. I thought this would be great. We'll do pieces for the 6 o'clock, 10 o'clock news. We'll do the Today program. We'll do Radio 5 Live. There'll be a few people following it online and, and great. That'll be a success. It's taken on this whole life of its own. There's been other websites set up to sort of follow the box and do better stuff than we're doing on the BBC site. Uh, better graphics, better maps, uh, videos on YouTube. It's just been fantastic. There's been a tsunami of emails from all around the world, people involved in shipping. Uh, a lot of young kids' interest as well. Uh, we've got hundreds of emails from geography teachers and schools saying, can we use this as part of the national curriculum because this is a great way to teach our students about the global economy and about trade in different countries. So that's been fantastic. We've had a few, let's go back to the front page. Just, uh, uh, had some absolutely bizarre things. Uh, you just go up, uh, click on the BBC Box model plan. Uh, one one uh, sort of person who was watching this online said, uh, designed, uh, this is going to come up now, uh, a way that we can make, you can make your own BBC box at home. I'm not sure it's all far up now. <laughs> so it's literally put tab A into tab B and, and people started sending in boxes. <laughs> 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 make your own BBC box. Uh, so in all sorts of ways, it just, it just sort of span almost, not out of control, just beautifully, virally, you know, all over the place. And, uh, uh, and which leads me here. Uh, so we had the idea because it was picking up such great traction with, uh, uh, you know, with young people and schools, and because frankly the B BBC News doesn't do very well at attracting a young audience. You know, generally people come to news uh, in their thirties, and, uh, and whilst we try to, uh, as we can, you know, we just don't. Our, our demographics are, are not good. This is a project that's really bucked the trend and has attracted a lot of young people. And I thought, wouldn't it be great, but, you know, down here. Have a little link, play your own BBC box game, uh, and that's why, why I'm here. Uh, and uh, I sort of met up with Josh, and we, we, we sort of had the idea of developing some sort of simple flash game. I'm not technical, so those questions might have to go to Josh, but something, something simple, possibly educational, that people could do as an extra little app uh, to, that we could put on the BBC website with, a, with the name and the link, and obviously, you know, sort of link to your, to your website uh, as, as a for whoever sort of uh, wins this competition to design the game. And, uh, and it's getting a hell of a lot of traffic. It's, it's a project that's going to run until uh, at least the end of next summer at the moment. Uh, bizarrely, we've now had an offer uh, which has been accepted uh, that this, this, this will have a lasting legacy. The, the BBC container will become a school classroom in South Africa at the end of the project, which is fantastic. Uh, so, uh, and then the shipping companies agreed to donate it for that. And there's a company that, that builds classrooms out of these containers. Uh, but it's just hundreds of things like that. I mean, I probably get more emails about the box than anything else. Uh, you know, I, I get about probably 100 and, 150 a day uh, from people all around the world. So I don't know, can you tell me more? How does how does the how are you tracking it? How's the technology working? Uh, what's going to be in the box? There's this. this on some websites, people are speculating where the box is going to go next. They're putting information about the ships. I mean, it was actually incredible. While it was going past the Isle of Wight on the way out, somebody actually sent in a picture they'd taken. They'd gone some, some hell on the Isle of Wight. They'd got like, a huge zoom lens and taken a picture of this thing on a, on a ship out there. So I've got it, I've got the box. So in fact, I think they actually, if you scroll down, there are, there's quite a lot of, uh, uh, oh, your pictures, if you go to your pictures. Uh, people have just sort of sent in, <laughs> sent in pictures every time they sort of see the box, you know, <laughs> they out there, which is just, uh, uh, Hornby got in touch with me, they want to make a BBC box uh, <laughs> to sell. Obviously there's a lot of commercial considerations with the BBC that we can think we can't take advantage of. But uh, you know, it's, this is just stuff that we haven't really planned on, which is great. So anyway, I mean that really is it. We would, I would love to get your te technological knowledge and genius involved. Uh, you know, if anyone has any ideas, it may not be a game, it may be something else. If there's anything that you can think of, that would add to this project and appeal to the sort of viewers, users that, that, that you guys, uh, you know, are very good at reaching. Then I'd love to incorporate it and uh, you know throw me your ideas. But what we are going to do is launch this this competition for some sort of 
flash game to sit on the site uh, that we'll have up there for the whole year, and as I say, traffic's high. Yeah. Cheers, Jeremy. So, yeah, so basically what we're going to do, um, I'm probably going to release the details out in a big message for everyone in the group uh, next week. But basically, anyone who's kind of building flash games on Facebook or not, but uh, can, can submit it. Um, and there'll be probably a competition, a voting, you know, a voting mechanism over Christmas for the top five, for everyone on the site to kind of play the top five and vote for them. And then the winner will be featured on the site throughout the whole of, whole of ne you know, next year, throughout the whole of the box site. Um, and there'll be links to you know, any individual that's done it. It can't, BBC kind of can't commercially pay someone, and it can't really be done by a company, so it has to be done by an individual. So it doesn't matter if you work for a company as long as it's done in your name. Um, obviously it's a big kind of traction thing for you, and also whoever develops it will own the commercial rights for the game themselves. So BBC will be able to use it, but you'll be able to turn it into a Facebook app. You'll be able to show that you know, on your Facebook app that it was the winner of the box competition and link to it from your site and everything else which will be linked from BBC. Uh, and the one thing I say is we have actually now since done an interview with the guy who designed the box and we'll probably do the same again for anyone that sort of enters this and, and wins will we'll do an interview to sit on the website and you know, with a bit of extra publicity that way as well. Yeah, yeah, and any other commercial things that come from that. So, so you'll hear more about that uh, next week. So thanks Jeremy for coming in. <laughs>